I'll stay on you because I want us to go into our second topic um, very quickly. So a group has also petitioned the Office of the Special Prosecutor to probe some 245 million US dollars that was spent on the All Africa Games. And it, it's very disturbing when you find out that um, $4.5 million of that money was spent on accreditation budgets alone. <laughs> Meanwhile, when you look at the piece of paper that the journalists are showing as accreditation, it's A4 sheet. <laughs> Yet we are told $4.5 million was spent, $15 million on feeding. And they are saying that it was for 2,644 athletes, even though we're told in totality that there were some 5,000 athletes and coaches from 55 countries um, that also came in for this show as well. Now we're hearing the minister say some three, over 3 million Ghana cities, well, dollars was paid to GBC for coverage. GBT2 says that they only got only 105,000. So the figures are flying about. <laughs> we spent 16 million to renovate hostels when we could have used that to build new hostels to serve as the village, um, the games village. And then after that, we give it back to the University of Ghana so we can recoup the money. All these things are flying about. We have not gotten any accountability from the ministry. Uh, Bella, let me say, let me first of all thank uh, Kwame Usudan, so who is the convener for the Forum for Accountable Governance. Yesterday, fortunately, I was with him when he submitted the petition to the okay. Office of the Special Prosecutor. Does uh, that mean you are part of the group? That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm part of the group. I oh, mean, I, I, I don't see why this plain TV must be allowed to fester. I was there and supported my brother Kwame Usuda. The, the issues are very simple. Very, very simple. Just recently, Goldfish Ghana mm. constructed the Takwa uh, TMA or TNA mm -hmm. Stadium, which is the same capacity, sitting capacity, as the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. The mm. only variation is that he has a Titans track and also they have a rugby pitch okay. and then uh, practicing tracks. You are telling us that this project was started by President Kufo in 2004. At the time you were giving money to finish it off, they were about 80% complete. Mm -hmm. You look straight into our faces as Ghanaians, as Minister of Youth and Sports, and tell us that you used $34 million to finish it. Yeah. What? Me neighbor, me neighbor, what is it? Where did we go wrong? You look straight into the 34 million Ghanaians. Highly intellectuals and said you used 34 million dollars to finish that project. Games Village, Nelson Kwapon, and then uh, yeah, Hila Liman. Mm -hmm. These are hostels already occupied by students. You only placed tents there, did some air conditioning fixing, it, and this man said he expended 16 million dollars. For Christ's sake, what are we doing to ourselves? Even the construction of a modern hostel, how much would it cost you? Mm. $15 million went into food. When Jesus Christ fed the multitude, if these people were, had fed the multitude, I'm sure they would have sold the Bank of Ghana. How much did Jesus Christ use to feed the multitude? You are telling us that you used $15 million to feed 5,000 people. Hey! Somebody must be crazy somewhere. And the Ghanaian is so angry enough. You have to be angry. You know why I'm so angry? Why? When I go back to my village, Amponya, in the Mansia Central, and I look at how people are struggling there. And I look at how people are dissipating our resources that I want to go mad. Because you see, it is not political matter. I cry right now, people are not getting water to drink. Mm -hmm. All the taps are off. I don't know whether you have observed it. Yes, I have. I have, even I mentioned it this morning. It's monetary issues. Sending tankers around. I be doped things with impunity. Tax, like you said, A4, poor quality. I just made an inquiry uh, with the, Paris, uh, the, the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. They are spending close to about 670,000 euro. When you, you, Olympics, the whole world, 670,000 euro, you are telling us tax for all Africa games. The 5,000 you are quoting, that was the, that was the ultimate number. Mm -hmm. Not all the athletes came. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're saying, so for some 2,644. Yes! Tax, 4.5. What I'm hearing is that even internet, they expended $3 million on internet. Now, you remember when they finished this whole thing, the volunteers, they didn't want to give them yeah. their money. Yeah. A common thousand cities to the volunteers. They had to hold the minister hostage before he changes. But he was going to chop that money. Why do we do, do this thing to ourselves? Is it because you need money for campaign or what? 
Mind you, this minister is very close to the flag bearer of the new patron. So close, extremely close. What are you insinuating? I'm insinuating that I, my instinct is that some of the monies are found its way into the campaign. Either that, where is the, the vice president getting the money to be doing all this lavish campaign? In this hot economy, where everyone is broke, Look, if you don't know, the middle class has been wiped from the system. Now, we don't have middle class in this country. That is why the poverty is hitting everyone. Because, you see, the middle class serves as a, a layer or a buffer to those downtrodden. Mm. If you have wiped all of them out, who will survive? Few people are enjoying and they are telling us that all is well. And you want me to agree? So, this is a clear cut of state capturing, plundering, and stealing. But I want to calls for a thorough investigation. The OSP must not deal dally with this. Mm. Yesterday, when we went there, we had to sit there for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and they were dealing. I told them, look, we are not going to joke with were this. Were they not aware you were coming? Of, uh, it's a public institution. Even mm. if you are not aware, the time you show up. Okay. You must show up early. And it took 40 minutes to see who this. Yeah, someone prosecutor came to pick himself? it. No, no, the prosecutor was not around. Okay. But we have delivered to them. Mm. And we are going to follow it religiously. So let me thank Kwame Usu down, so for being bold on this one. You see, we must, be, we must be citizens. Not spectators. Parliament must also take it up. There has to be a commission of inquiry into the activities of the whole all Africa. This was the minister that took us to Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. Some few minutes away from Ghana. Black Stars, AFCON. You know AFCON, they pay for your hotel and those things. Yeah. He came back and looked straight into our faces and said he expended $3 million. You are flying seven hours to Qatar. Qatar, just here, World Cup. Five million dollars gone. But you see, it's not surprising because that is a dangerous ministry. It's a crime scene ministry. Between 1993 to 2024, we have had 18 solid ministers occupying that position. Some has lasted, they have lasted not more than four months. Others lasted not more than five months. You remember the, the, the issue of uh, Yusuf Isa Malamisa? Mm -hmm. When he was going to Hartun with blasters, $46,000 got missing along the way. You remember the issue of Muntaka teaching up pampas? You remember the Brazil where every agra had to cry on live TV? Young man, he wants to be an MP. Pious Ahidide. You send people to Australia under the pretext that they were journalists. The president says that. They... Don't forget, this morning we are very serious here. No, 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 we... I'm just. The president I'm... said what? Hold on. <laughs> the president said what? Hold on, allow me to speak. Uh -huh. So when you mention that, uh -huh. I mean, we've always concerns about that report never making it yes. into the public domain. Yes. But the president cleared him, paid that investigation. That if we the president has cleared him at the Jubilee, I have not cleared him here. Look, the truth of the... What, what, was it not true that 60 journalists were brought back from Australia? Yeah. So, We've been asking for that report. So, what is there to clear? Sometimes you give some of these things too much credence. Mm -hmm. Is it not a fact that 60 people who were uh, was opposing as journalists were yeah. brought back from Australia to Ghana? And there was a court. Recently, Mumu, Mumu, people who were claiming to be Mumu, and, and they all went to, uh, what, what's the name? Norway. They have absconded. Mm -hmm. We asked people. Their families, I mean, the coach died. Yeah. The pathetic nature. Let two family members go and bring their dead body. They go, they shim. They're also gone. <laughs> this is what we are dealing with. Yeah. So this issue, this minister, who does not respect dollar, must re begin to respect dollar together with this government. All right. All that they have done is enough. And the people of this country must not make the mistake of entrusting the destinies of this country to the hands of the new party. Right. party. Well, producers, if you can quickly just check into the Ghana Tonight folder. There are some tweets that Sadiq Adams put up um, concerning how much UPSA is even spending on putting up some four hostels. as against what we spent to refurbish um, the hostels at the University of Ghana. And he says that UPSA is literally constructing an entirely new school campus. That is a 10-floor, multi-purpose, twin-tower edifice and two new story hostel block facilities. A 10-floor, twin-tower with offices, lecture rooms, commercial centers and halls of residential areas and will replace the administrative complex on the old campus. The two students' hostels, 10 story each, will accommodate about 3,250 people. The project's ultra-modern nature has been described as unprecedented in the history of the university. All four will cost 230 million CDs. That's 14 million US dollars. And he said he had checked on that um, before he put out this tweet. So there's even a picture 
of the buildings that are being put up as against what was being refurbished at the University of Ghana. And so that was going to cost, in fact, those buildings are going to cost 14 million U.S. dollars, new buildings. And yet we spent 16 million U.S. dollars to refurbish the University of Ghana, um, you know, hostels. I remember that George Quinn and I believe visited the campus after the All Africa Games to interact with the students. The ACs that were installed in the buildings had been disconnected so the students could not use it. Some of them said their roofs were leaking. There were even pictures that were able to put out. Their roofs were leaking. There was so much debt. They didn't even have tables on their balconies to cook. So when they went back to school, they were told that they cannot cook in the meantime because all the tables that used to be on the balconies, they couldn't find them anymore. So it was in a more deplorable state per what the students told us as against what we were told had been done. And so, Alikem, if you look at all these things, and we're saying that we spent 245 million US dollars on the All-Africa Games, there's a lot to wonder. Thank you so much, Bella. It's, it's so sad. <clears throat> as a young man, I repeat, I feel so scandalized the path this regime has taken us on. And it is more worrying that you have other young men and women want to, in various ways, defend such kind of loot or broad day thievery. Look, look at the beautiful edifice you're showing of what, can, what, what 200 and... Uh, no, uh, that's uh, the 14 million US dollars can do for UPSC. That's for their UPSA, plan. Yes. yes. And I recall vividly, just a few days after the African Games, there was just some, 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 some showers of rain. And these same buildings, hostels, that was refurbished, as such a hoping, is this 16 million? There were leakages all over. The floors were all almost flooded. The rooms, you can't tell. And I knew it. Look, Bella, look out for it. You, the media, should look out. Mm. In some few weeks or months, even those air conditioners will all be removed. Why do you think they have, it's been disconnected? And we must stress it. If it is to even high science, then we must question them. We need to even find out if actually these air conditioners were bought from them or they were just leased to them. Because there were brand new air conditioners that were used for less than a month. <clears throat> so they may give it back to Hisense or whoever, and then it will find its way in the public again to be sold. Why has it been disconnected? Because somebody is embarking on some criminality again, and they will sit and tell you that these are unprintable words. You are involved in daily activity, and how do you justify this? And you think, for me as a young person, I should sit and embellish the words and say, this is an adult president who is a septuagenarian. He's in the, the old age, and therefore I should respect him and not be... Come on, you are not gauging my future, and I should sit and keep praising you for doing this? And the president will not do anything about such things, because it, it looks like a chunk goes to him. They have some, some format. Whether, what was the format uh, Nyantechi said at the point? In, in I, I met him yesterday. <laughs> He's, you know, the, the, the formats they are using for all these kind of things. And they don't have any shame. And I get so amazed that you have young men who at best should say, look, I have no comment on this. I will not say a word on this. But they want to justify it and say, maybe these or probably that or this or that. Look at the figures we are talking about. GBC is on its own as well. We, we were told 3.6 million. They said it's 105,000. Then a lot of letters were flying here and there. Then you have Gabi want to throw in a job thinking he could salvage the situation. And it's a whole mess. And you think Ghanaians are so gullible that you can be spewing all these things and they will believe what you tell them. I only worry, sincerely, I only worry for the young men who put their lives and their future and credibility on the line for such a government with a very few people who are benefiting and looting the public person. <clears throat> However, I take pride and solace in what President Mahama said the last time during the launch of our manifesto, that he's going to embark on what we call the ORAL, Operation Recover or the Loot, because matters of this nature need not to be left just like that. Like I'm, I repeat again, Bella, mm. you need to get your cameramen to keep, or media guys to keep monitoring the hostels. Very soon, they would want to remove those air conditioners and go and sell them. <clears throat> if not, why would you disconnect them? Be because in, in the first place, was there the need for these air conditioners? Why do we make it look like living in Africa must not be in content with our nature? The program was being organized for Africa. People were coming from even the Sahel, where they know themselves the weather is very hot. Then you think that suddenly for two weeks, we must procure air conditioners for them. And now we have procured this brand new air conditioner. Only God knows how much it costs us in itself, because the figures will again be inflated. After just two weeks or three weeks of the program, you've disconnected them. 
Then you now come back and tell us that this is how much you spent. And, all, and, and where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? And these monies could be used to do a lot of things. You talked about the Agenda 111. And my brother is saying here that they have 65, averagely, 65% is near, is, is near 65% completion. <laughs> is it only the infrastructure? Or they have even procured equipment to feed them? It is, even infrastructure hasn't reached 65%, with the greatest of respect. Fortunately, fortunately, per, per, per the nature of my job, I crisscross this country. If you are even heading to Likwe, to Huawei area, go and see what is left in the bush there. Even when going to Ho there, go and see what is left in the bush there. When heading to Takra there, even in the Volta, which, which project has reached? Look, one of the contractors told me that, look, they cannot even finish five before they leave office. And no, it's not surprising that they have decided to offload all the burden to one of their oh, appendages. We had the presidential advisor say that they had a number of them that should start, they should start commissioning. Don't believe any of those things. Of these this, are, these yeah. are broad day pathological liars who do not care who they are speaking to. They feel when their backs are against the wall, they should just say anything to relieve themselves. And that is what is continually happening. It is why it is of worry to me that you have young persons, and I'm not saying this without, with, I'm not being personal, but I'm sharing this with so much sentiment that why my brother will also be here and want to put his life on the line on defending matters of this nature. There's a deliberate loot you are not part of. There's a deliberate loot you are not partaking in. There's a deliberate criminality you are not involved in. And you sit to want to defend the very apostles who are sitting behind just at the stroke of a pen. They are doing all these things, and you okay. want to stand in that <clears throat> state for them. All right. L let me let um, counsel come in so he can respond to this. And I I'm saying this on authority because, again, we visited the campus. One of our correspondents was at the University of Ghana campus, and he put out a story. In fact, it's Christian Yali. Um, pardon me, where he put up pictures of the state of these hostels. And he said that students were um, lamenting the challenges in their rooms after 16 million US dollars were said to have been spent on renovating. So um, he says that, so let me just read a bit. The halls come with a unique layout named after notable personalities, etc., etc. Then he says, government awarded a controversial $16 million contract to refurbish this hall. But barely two months after the game, Part of the halls leak at the slightest drizzle of rain. The installed air conditioners have been disconnected so students cannot use them. When we saw the renovation, and that's a student quoting it, we thought by the time we come back, life in the diaspora halls would be very good. But then when we came, it's we worse. saw otherwise. Currently, most of the rooms lack tables and chairs. And notice from management has prohibited students from cooking at the balconies due to the unavailability of tables. In the face of this, I visited some kitchens, but was surprised to see some did not even have light. The sinks were rusty with the valves disconnected. We were not allowed, and please if you can put that link up so that we can see the pictures as I'm reading. We were not allowed to cook in our balconies. This is a student and I'm quoting. In the first case, we don't even have tables to put our hot plates <coughs> on. We are forced to do a lot of things that lead to discomfort. Quote again, the kitchen is not conducive for cooking. It is not in a good shape because looking at the number and looking at the size of the kitchen, I don't think this is good for us. That's another student. Amid the water crisis, students are also battling with reading rooms that are filled with dirt and broken louver blades. Again, I quote, it's not encouraging for our studies. We have made complaints, but it seems we are not being heard. As of now, we've resumed school and it seems no one cares about what is going on. Our water crisis is also a big challenge. You wake up in the morning and want to bath, but the tap wouldn't flow. You are then forced to walk downstairs um, to fetch water. So that's what, <coughs> that's the reports that we're able to get from students at the University of Ghana. In fact, at these three halls, that were renovated. So Elizabeth Say Hall is one of them. Um, we also have Jean Nelson, and we have Dr. Hilary Mann and Professor Alexander Kwapon. Those are the four halls that were renovated. Yeah, thank you, Bella. And let me congratulate uh, the forum for the governance and accountability. Uh, accountable, uh, accountable, governance. accountable governance, led by my own uh, brother, Kwame Usudansu. Lawyer Kwame, he's the actual the lawyer. <laughs> lawyer Kwame Usudansu. <laughs> lawyer. But there is a demonstration coming up in connection with that. With what? The yeah, all yeah. Africa games? Yeah, yeah. There's so a... after a petition, people are going on the streets yeah, as well? That is what okay, all right. You let me let... Now. Sorry. So, Coco, please, let's give him some reason, time so he can also The respond. reason I am commending um, the group led by Kwame, uh, lawyer Kwame Usu Danso is that, one, we had some of these matters in 2008, 2007, 2008. Can 2008, when Ghana hosted the, the uh, can, can 2008, Eight. the African game, is it? Afcon. no, the AFCON. Mm. It was an election year. We had all manner of things. We have had in the past the, uh, the Prudential uh, Bank scandal, 
that the money that, uh, that were being stashed at Prudential Bank <coughs> were even uh, was more than the monies at the um, how do you call it uh, in in the in, in the stock of Bank of Ghana mm. and those things stashed by the then officials of President Kufuor's government and a whole lot of stuff. Fast forward, when the MPP lost power in 2009, mm -hmm. it handed over to the NDC in 2009 January. How many of these appointees were incarcerated, were put before court and incarcerated for wrongdoing and the likes? So it's just a matter of just churning out falsehood, smearing people and causing <clears throat> injury to their reputation. I am happy that anything accountability or social accountability, I am for it. Okay. That at the end of the day, if anyone has conducted or misconducted himself or herself to be held before the law and prosecuted fervently in the name of the Republic so mm. that it will serve as deterrence for others to also look at it, not necessarily destroying the reputation of others. Bella, you see, I'm happy that they are taking this matter to the OSP mm. and I will urge lawyer Kisye Jabin to expedite action in the investigation of these matters because it has been lingering on our necks for so long a time now since the inception of the african games mm -hmm. uh, these allegations started coming up from a whole lot of courtesies demonstrations from volunteers and a whole lot of things started coming in so if there has been a, a formal petition the ospv no, did not need a petition to be issued before triggering investigation into matters of public concern of this nature mm. but once it, he has been petitioned or the office has been petitioned to investigate these matters i believe that in the interest of public accountability and in the interest of the integrity and sanctity of the profession, the people involved, their reputation, mm. you must expedite action in investigating the matters and bringing to the attention of the people of this country the outcome of the investigations. And whoever is culpable, as far as any wrongdoing is concerned, hold before the laws of our country and prosecuted for that purpose. Okay. Bella, you remember recently the minister was before the Public Accounts Committee and made some admissions to the Public Account Committee that um, they made some payments in excess of $3 million yeah. to Ghana Broadcasting Corporation as far as the media rights or the TV rights or the broadcasting mm -hmm. rights were concerned. And it became a hula balloon that the, the, the Director General of GBC, Professor is it Ahmed, <coughs> Ahmed something, Amin, 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 Amin Alassan, came out to state that what GBC received in their books were just a little over 105,000 US mm -hmm. dollars and not mm -hmm. $3.6 million, as was put out by the minister before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament. Yeah. It became a hula balloon, a banter, that people will say, hey, broad day TV. See, uh, an appointee of the government is dissociating himself from the TV. And others will say, no, they have changed these monies into campaign. And mm. what, what, what? And a whole lot of things. Mm. That the man is a saint. And blah, 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 blah. And, and just before you continue, so the pictures you're seeing on your screen right now, these pictures were taken two months, or barely two months after the All Africa Games. And we're told that 60 million was used to renovate these halls. So that's what we are seeing on our screen now. This was the state of the halls by the time the students went back to school. Please uh, carry so, on. So, I'll give you more so, videos. So, so when, when the issue of the GBC, the Ministry of Youth and Sports matter came in, there were subsequently some memos that came that popped up, which clearly established that what the Director General sought to put out was, was, was taken aback. Mm. Because clearly it is true that GBC received 105, uh, 105 thousand us dollars as he clearly stated because mm. what you have received in your books is what you have received that you must account because it reflects in your book and for accounting purposes that is what they receive but it is not only gbc that did the work and gbc did same in collaboration with other media outlets and from the memos sent on 20 uh the memos sent march 26 2024 from gbc the director general himself instructing or directing the ministry to make some forward payment because of some uh, some mm -hmm. collaborators that they had, some subcontractors that they worked with together. So in totality, that that amounted to the three point six million dollars, of which there is no there, it establishes no wrongdoing as far as what the minister sought to put out was concerned. I believe that the only thin line was what GBC received mm. and what went into other service providers together in the broadcasting rights of the African Games. <clears throat> but for these memos, some wrongdoings or some. Uh, malicious intent would have been meted out to the, the, the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports and his integrity uh, would have been damaged. But, but it injured. still needs to be investigated because, I'm, I mean, I'm, we cannot coming, just dwell on no, that. I'm coming, I'm coming on that. On, on we the need to of find that. out who are the faces or the people behind these other companies I'm, I'm that coming, were also I'm coming, given I'm coming. the subcontract. On the back of that. We, we have to go, no, On the back of that. That's why I'm supporting the investigation that has been triggered by the, the, the group 
for the OSP mm. to go into this matter. Okay. Because probably okay. they have ample justifications with documentary right. evidence to be able to show how the expenditures went. And okay. Bella, we have for, to land. for government Sorry. works, projects, every contractor that conducts renovations or contractual okay. purposes has a defect liability period inherent in their contract. Thank you. Enshrined in their contract. Thank you. So if the contract has a defect liability period, has the defect liability period uh, uh, been extinguished? Has it, well, well, we hope that I all the investigations and those kind of things. Well, let, so let's wait. Will be able to Thank, you. These Thank you. For the I'm, I'm being counted down, unfortunately. We've gone way beyond time, please, gentlemen. Please. So, so also.